And despite uh, that door plug blowing out and other recent mechanical issues, Boeing has, has flown many of us around the world safely for decades. But now they're sending people into space for the very first time. After years of delays and stumbles, the company's Starliner is now sitting on the launch pad at Florida's Cape Canaveral. Mark Strassman has more. After a series of setbacks that made Starliner seem almost snake bit, Boeing desperately needs this test flight to be a win. And our motto? Know everything and perform it well. Perform it well. <laughs> Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, two of NASA's most seasoned astronauts. But even for them, nothing compares to a flight assignment like this. Never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined to be the crew for the first flight of a spacecraft. Every now and then it's like, wow, this is cool. Are you ready? I'm ready. In this simulator, we watch these former Navy test pilots practice docking Boeing Starliner to the International Space Station. This is a risk, and it's a higher risk than most flights, but what a great opportunity to risk being what it is because of what the outcome could be. The outcome, NASA hopes, is annual Starliner flights to the space station. NASA wants redundancy and hired both Boeing and SpaceX a decade ago. One, both zero. companies face challenges. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. But SpaceX has launched 50 people to orbit since 2020. Boeing, none. Starliner is seven years behind schedule, and this flight comes as Boeing's commercial airplane business faces mounting scrutiny over its safety culture, especially after a door plug fell off a 737 MAX in January. There's one priority, and it's to do this safely. Mark Nappy is Starliner's program manager. I have full confidence that people are putting the vehicle together properly and that the processes are very robust to get a safe vehicle up into orbit with people on board. For Boeing, a long road to the launch pad stung by a series of setbacks. And lift off the rise of Starliner. On its first uncrewed test flight in 2019, software problems doomed a planned meetup with the space station. And lift off, Starliner is headed back to space. Boeing made it on a second try. Contact, capture. But had to conquer problems jammed valves, parachutes, and a worry nearly a mile of protective tape wrapped throughout the capsule could be flammable. Yes, there's been some issues in the past. That's the past. That is not now. We've had a lot of lessons learned. We, we wouldn't say we're ready if we weren't ready. NASA's waited patiently for a second option to send crews to the space station. If it goes well, this test flight could give them that. Mark Strassman, CBS News at the Kennedy Space Center.